Yeah, definitely. I think we might see more of that process. The map lends itself more in that way. Um, hopefully, it'll prove a more evening, a more even game in terms of rounds. Just because, even though that game was close and back and forth and scattered fighting, because the uh, love and card had such like a round buffer before they'd even be caught up by a lethal weapon, it was always pretty comfortable for them. Yeah. And you can see Tech just absolutely capitalising on sort of their overextension, 33 frags, just under 400 damage. Uh, just I guess just feeding Tech basically a lot of the time, these aggressive players. Monty and Victor are both struggling to have an impact, and Death as well. Yeah, Death died a lot. Death died a lot at very bad times. Uh, mm. Usually his, his team would either wipe and then he'd come in and die 10 seconds later, or his team, he'd die about 10 seconds before his team went into an Uber exchange, and then his team would lose the fight. He really needs to stop playing like Exxon, and <laughs> play a bit more passively. Yeah, if you look at like the deaths between the combos, like Exxon, Tech, and Bull with 13, 12, and 9, compared to Death, White Clone, and Atomic with 17, 17, 15, that's sort of three or four times the entire combo from Lethal Weapon are down compared to the Frenchies. Yeah, it was just... I don't know. I don't know. They need to step up their, step up their game and just go all-out aggressive on process. Or, or just have mm. for they can destroy everyone. Those are the two options. Yeah. Don't play so slowly. Or have Forsaken cheat. Yeah, like, they'd have, they'd have these moments where they, like, Forsaken would secure them an advantage, you know, get them the picks, get them the entryway. But then, they, it's like they needed Forsaken to continue to finish the entire push for them as well, because the combo really lacked any, like, what's the word? Hold their hands the whole way through. Yeah, just, like, no just finishing, no like, finishing frags, no sort of that's why they had no rounds capped. Like, they got them back to last, but do you remember early on, right at the beginning of the map, and they had those last pushes, and they were just, like, friggin' the sort of textbook stuff when you first teach someone to push Badlands last if they've never played TF2 before. Or you just go top left and Uber, and they might Uber back, and then you go back out, and then you try to walk in again without an Uber. Like, there was no sort of creativity or anything really yeah, they, coming they, out from them. They would Uber in top left. Then they'd wait around for five seconds, then maybe the enemy team would Uber back, and then they'd all die. Yeah, like, I don't know, at this level, against a team as good as the Frenchies, you've, you've got to at least try something, or, you know, or be really well rehearsed and really good at that top left push. But there's only so much you can do walking in from such a static position. Yeah. If so they... you've... I, I think they, they really should have Shadowburn on pocket because even like his plays, they, they aren't having an impact because he's so out of sync with his team. Like it, it seemed his, he, his desperation on mid, he realized these mids aren't working. I'm going to go really aggressive really early. And then he'd just die. He'd die without any help from his team because he's so fast. And like the more desperate he got, the faster he went and like, the more useless he was. You know, first mid where he kind of, he didn't delay it a lot, but he delayed it a bit. And him and, I think, Monty, or him and Forsaken, just, like, rushed for shithouse players from Lavant Guard. And just completely yeah. decimated them before Tech and Exxon and the other guy could even get, like, a foothold into mid. Before they knew it, they had no flank and just had to walk away. Yeah, they tried it again later, and T-Mac was ready for it and just destroyed them with the help of Flip. They don't seem to have very many plays to, to use on these mids. They don't have a plan B. Yeah. I guess plan B is Forsaken Snipes. <laughs> Sniped mid. Actually, <laughs> in, in the, the practice we saw earlier, the Russians lost 6-1 and no, no point did Forsaken go sniper to mid. Which is definitely possible if you've got a very good sniper. Yeah, especially on process as well. Like, you yeah. can just Not really on Badlands. Yeah, it's, uh, you'd have to be outrageously good. Um, and outrageously consistent as well to, for it to work on Badlands. Uh, we're still waiting for the second map to go live here, so why don't you throw me out? Throw me out a scoreline. I was pretty close for the first time. Yeah, I didn't expect the Russians to not. After seeing the Russians' Ubers, I'm <laughs> gonna say I'm gonna say 
another five nil, but a bit, a bit Safer, harder okay. for the Frenchies. Yeah, I don't know. The more I see of the Russians attempting to move forward as a team and get frags, the less and less confident I can ever. I see. I I'm getting for them to ever get around. Yeah, I mean, eventually they're gonna have to push last. <laughs> that is the horrible result of you know winning the rest of the fights. Yeah. You have to make an attempt at pushing process last. And if you can't do bad lads... Although last... Forsaken can go crazy on this last. Like mm. With process, Forsaken can make a plays pushing, which isn't really possible on bad lands with a sniper, because it's so small. No. We've seen that a couple of times. We saw it once in the warm-up, Forsaken in the lobby of process, uh, getting the snipe, and just completely unsupported by his team. I think that was from a defensive point of view, but we saw on Badlands, you know, when he did go sniper when they were attacking last, and um, Flip was just allowed to straightforwardly walk down main and go kill him and run away to resup without any kind of punishment. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see if, like, especially when everyone knows how good Forsaken is, especially, especially you must know if you play with him, <laughs> like, three or four nights a week, uh, he doesn't get more support. So we'll look for it in this one. I believe they have gone live real time. So I'm going to go maybe 4-2 to the Lava Guard. It's, it's just a, it's not something you can predict. It's just a roll of the dice. Will the Russians get into a situation where they can cap a last point without having to trade Ubers as the we problem, do go live? The problem is their plays are so like random that they can't do enough consistently in a row to make it all the way to last as we see Shadowburn arrive on this process middle of this opening week E2F2L well game between Lavangard and Lethal Weapon. Here come the rest of Lethal Weapon storming across the top. They're hanging back a little bit now and allow the soldiers to jump. White Glow's going to go down pretty early. Monty gets eliminated from top as well. Death's going to do what he can, throw in the spammer, but ball's still tucked away pretty safely. Just Victor and Death alive and neither of them are really in a position to go for a play. Uh, Death's going to have to sticky jump out, but he's going to run straight into Flippy. Took a little bit too long. Uh, Dilly Dally's on his way out, and now Victor's hiding for a solo play. He's just going to go for Exxon. Exxon has overextended his trademark Exxon play. Uh, Forsaken's going to get arrowed. Gets caught between the spam and from T Mac, and the arrow will go down. And we're going to see an uber advantage push to last. And I imagine we're going to wait for Exxon. Yeah, they'll, they'll be waiting, but did you see Death's rollout to mid? It was reminiscent of Nomlocked. You know, that was numb locked on a bad day. He didn't even attempt any of the slides or anything. He just kind of sticky jumped and hoped, like, he was slower than his scouts. Hmm, that's weird. I don't know, I guess it's just a one-off, I presume. I presume it's not intentional. As looks like they're going far left with Masuba right now. Forsaken on Sniper, not going to get anything. Shadowburn will, though. No, Forsaken staying on Sniper for this defense. But if he's going to run straight into a heavy, that is ill-advised. Exxon's going to get isolated. Shadowburn should be able to finish this. No, Exxon's going to sneak away. Uh, but they've probably done enough to hold it. And Victor's on a scout, and he looks like he's on the prowl. Now, we talked about it a bit before when we were watching the PCW how Forsaken always looks like he's waiting for a play. And Flippy's going to go sniper. I assume he's going to go sewers. Yeah. And this is this is a massive pain to deal with, uh, sniper and sewers, if you're trying to push out. But actually, I, I just noticed that Bull actually has a big uber advantage. He actually managed to get out of that. He saw it was going badly and mm. just left. Yeah, wise play. Uh, they did manage to eventually get White Glow, but it looks like Lethal Weapon want to try and forward hold quite a bit. Try and force Viva out, but White Glow is dangerously far forward considering they're over 90% uh, left on the card. And we're going to come through Rollout. Exxon's got to look through quite far for not a lot really. Monty's going to be left alone on this point to try and absorb some ammo and damage. Um, but it's kind of stayed in an even fight. Nice air shots there to completely deny him. They forced him back in. Forsaken's got the pass out. That seems unnecessary. Maybe if he'd used a gun, it would have helped. Uh, he was we... using a gun and it wasn't effective. He, was it? No. I think it was seven shots on Bull and he didn't oh, really? him without Bull being aware of his presence. And I think it was exasperation that made him pull out the bat. Oh, right. <laughs> I like just turned my camera as that happened. I thought he just ran out of spawn with the bat. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> Um, and it looks like we're going to go to another middle, Shadowburn uh, on mid early again. Death really quick as well, going to get a lot of damage off the Exxon. Uh, he's going to pick up a small health back and probably be okay. And now we're going to see the early aggression coming in. Victor's going to get Exxon, Shadowburn goes on to the back. Monty's going to try and force him out and choke, uh, but will go down. 
They will clean up the rest of the players and keep White Glow alive. And Tech and Flip have so little health, they're just going to have to fall back and wait for their team to respawn. But Lethal Weapon should get CP2 for free here, and they should not have to use Uber if they play this right. Flippy's going defensive awesome. sniper. He looks like he's going to go from the, the balcony and try and peek towards Choke through there. <laughs> what we've just seen right now is because they are so far apart. <gasps> what a shot from Flippy. Oh my god. For saving, getting a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed in midair, close range, like right above his head. Flippy definitely went AFK to type something as well, so I presume that's a bookmark. Um, now they're trying to walk in, they are going to have to Uber through. They end up Ubering down low, they'll get team out, but I'm not sure how much else they can get. Death's trying to walk in, but there's not really a lot he can do. He has he has sort of trapped Exxon out there, though. They're trying to clear the stickies to get Exxon out, and they do manage it. Uh, but a bit of a messy Uber again from Lethal Weapon. It secures CP2. Um, but again, like, Victor completely, I was ahead of his team, trying to cap CP2 where everyone else is still on mid. And now we see the Uber push out coming. Exxon's going to jump all the way. He hits one pipe, goes for the second pipe, cannot land it. Uh, he's actually going to get cleaned up. Exxon's turn to overextend. And I think there's actually a player behind right now from last. Shadowburn's oh, trying Shadow to Burn shots. fighting two. Yeah, uh, Victor's no Monty in even as well, but he will go down. But I think it has pulled him back. And I think they're just going to go for a non uber push. Only two players left alive. What could go wrong? Uh, we're going to clean up the out pretty quickly. And there we go, around. Yeah, that's my prediction out the window. <laughs> it was Exxon just like over, overextending like in a very silly way, just jumping through choke with pipes out, trying to chase the medic on 30%, like, which is unnecessary. Was separated as well, so it wasn't even like he was about to get Uber or something for a repush or anything like that. It was an unnecessary attempt at a play. Uh, now we're going to see Shadowburn early pretty again. Misses his air, shots and takes damage from Exxon. That's going to force him back. Exxon's trying to move across the point, but he's only just getting the heals off him. Death, meanwhile, in the air, going to avoid the air shot with a bit of a strike. But it's forced Leaf Weapon onto the back foot now. Shadowburn's trying to muscle his way, but he can't make his way through everyone. White Glow will not get through that door. We're going to try and hold on to Sirs, though. The scout uh, will go down. Comics arrived him. as well, but they are trapped uh, right now in Sirs. Exxon is sticky in it. Uh, Atomic's going to try and jump out. Bit of a goofy jump. Death's going to try and bomb in as well. Gets 25 health down on Paul. They're spamming rockets. The scout's going to run out. Paul's not going to oh, jump. He holds he it. I don't know if he even saw Forsaken, but Exxon hits for pipe in time, takes him down. He did. He knew he had balls of steel, and uh, this is going to put them in a very good position to push last here. And they take down Shadowburn, the Uber comes off. Only four, three players alive for the Russians, and all they need is cap time to the Frenchies. Yeah, Death's putting a lot of stickies on point, but he will go down before he can actually death them. No damage done, the respawns do come. And they're kind of trapped in here, but the scout comes in. Flip's going to get on the point and just secure that for him. It looks a little bit on edge um, for avant-garde, but the arrival of Flip just sealed the deal, and we're going to go to a, another mid. Quick round for them. Yeah, I think Tech might be running the gumbos. I can't tell because he's kind of invisible for me, but he seems to be taking very little damage there. Maybe he's just light-footed. Maybe. <laughs> we're going to another mid now. Uh, standing off both teams so far. Big air shot to Shadowburn. Uh, he's going to try and hit Rocket's anyway, but Scout's coming across. Death so far across the point, but the damage doesn't really seem to be representative, even though he has forced them back quite far. And it's only Tech and Bull and Flippy left alive, but they have got uh, the medics to defend, but they both kind of leave. Bull's down to half health. He's got the moves, though. Soldier arrives. Bull <gasps> keeps stopping. White glows on to Bull. He's got an arrow loaded, but he can't land. He, he turns to heal his scout, and now White Glow's way too far for foot. Gonna surf out to choke. The medic's just showboating here right now. That was um, beautiful from Bull. He and just, White Glow just as well, but... I think he surfed up onto the little pipes next to the the spire and just hopped up onto the point. As uh, Atomic's flying back in, and Uber goes off for the Russians, and Bull follows suit, and it is not looking good for the Russians. No, White Glow's quite far forward. A soldier's gonna get all over him right now as well. All over death as well. There is a fight in Sirs going on, and T-Mac will come out on top of that one. Uh, French is just going to slow it down for a second, regroup himself. Nice rockets, but for Scout, uh, Victor just about surviving. No real sniper action from Forsaken yet, and that's a bit of a uh, disappointment. Exxon's going to lead the charge with his jump. Scout's going to try and go aggressive on him, but he's absolutely smashed by Exxon. Death's now overextending as well. Uh, he's going to go down, and they're just bleeding players here, and just going to make it an easy push to CP2 for them. Yeah, it was uh, 
Messi for the Russians and the French is just capitalizing and they're going to get the second point before the Ubers are up. And I'm curious as to how the French is going to push this. I wonder if they'll just suicide flippy and go for a sniper or are they going to trade Ubers? Hey, it looks like they're going to trade Ubers as they push through rollout. And the Uber gets popped off and Nash Forsaken goes down, that's a big pick. But the Uber is so late for the Russians and the Frenchies have just got to get out of that heavy's way. Scout behind. Flip has snuck behind, he's going to hide him and panic. And I think they are completely unaware right now, we're going to lose Atomic. Uh, the push is going to come in, Flip's going to adopt a drop, uh, trade for death. He's not going to, he's going to take on his soldier as well. Really nice work from Flip. Gonna claim a second frag. Now Monty's is completely isolated on the point. He does get two though. What goes gonna try and fight it? But now uh, we've got Victor trying to fight four people. Um, four people and going for the medic. Yeah, can't believe. Gotta get that uber advantage. Can't believe they didn't see Flip go behind. Right. Yeah, it was a very, really big play from Flip there. Completely single-handedly winning that round as he comes in, kills the man, and then also kills the Roma and gets out again to meet up with his medic. And Exxon Death arriving about the same time, and that T Mac going fast, but flying away again. Yeah, Shadowburn sort of rolled out slow to the mid. He's going in now. He's going to try and kill Death, but really hasn't done a lot of damage. They've just uh, eaten up that aggression, and the Russians need to leave. Death's going to get a soldier all over him. Really nice rockets from Tech right now. So much damage on both. Finishes off Atomic. He's going to lead forward with a shotgun right now. Uh, Death on the alternative pipe launch right now. Exxon might overextend as well. Victor's going to get him. Uh, and now Flippy's going to try and go aggress aggressive. Death isn't the best in this situation. He hits one pipe. Uh, but Flippy can't actually find much damage on Tweever player, so he's just going to fall back, keep himself healthy as we go into this uh, Uber v Uber fight. Death's kind of extended again now. He's trying to open those pipes for scouts weak, but we'll get Uber in time and save both his scouts. Now White Glow has to run away as Flip and Flippy power forward with their invulnerability. Yeah, but they, the Russians have the demo man advantage, and the French is just going to fall out. It's for sake of death, sniper as yeah. well. Death, co uh, Exxon costing them that second point there by trying to get a bit too greedy onto the medic. That doesn't sound like Exxon. Uh, and ooh, Forsaken's peak and choke and what's going on? Tech, it, Tech and Shadowburn both go down. This is yeah. fights happening all over the place. Exxon's trying to peek in with T-Mac and they're doing a lot of damage to the Russian players. And <gasps> T-Mac dodges the sickest air shot. Uh, possibly I've ever seen, just whiffs past his face and the scout of Monty is coming in to try and save the second place. Nice. actually takes down Flip. I'm yeah, surprised Exxon he managed to get that heels, frag. Uh, but it's going to be difficult for Exxon ready to do anything. Shadowburn, uh, think to my guy from play, but just going to force him back. White Glow was separated and it's going to be about 10% behind, but it shouldn't prove too crucial in the grand scheme of things. Uh, as the Frenchies are waiting for their respawns as well. And Forsaken has stayed on Sniper. They're actually going to Uber through. Forsaken's not going to get much of a chance. Uh, they will try and get it in time. I think they were trying to catch White Glow uh, without Uber since he wasn't building for a bit. But it won't actually end anything. Now Death's going to jump choke. So much damage from Death. They should push off the back of this. Um, they're going to try and make the way through choke. They're taking their time. Here comes Atomic Bug. Shadowburn arrives now. This should speed things up. Uh, Death's going to jump as well. They're not quite finding as much damage as they were originally. Uh, Monty tried to go behind with the sniper, and it's actually worked out quite well for them. Uh, but Death's going to catch a rocket in the air. Ooh. Uh, the airshot just whiffs past him from Tech. He will stay alive. They kept White Glow alive through all of it, and I didn't see how they picked Bull, but they did. It was a very messy fight. They, after losing X on a choke, it was kind of a, a mad scramble to try and get out without being picked by Forsaken or jumped by Death, and they just lost players left and right trying to fall out. And the combo of combo of the Russians are pushing through the sewers with Forsaken trying to see what he can do. <laughs> Headshot flipping. That going nowhere. Yeah. Uh, T-Mac goes down early. But I'm begging out Uber here actually. Scout's isolated. Scout's so weak. Uh, Death's going really aggressive but he is isolated. But the soldier's going to arrive in time. Uh, Tom McTendon get the clean. Uh, just for two of them alive on last. Ball is so low. Goes for the saw but Shadowburn will kill himself and take the medic with it. Now a Tom is going in on fast. Uh, Exxon does not have a lot of ammo loaded, so we'll only reload pipes. This is free. This hits the fourth one, but it's too little too late, and it's now 3 2. Round back for Lethal Weapon. They're back in the. Not even halfway through the game yet. Did you see Death was stuck between the shotgun of Tech and the, the, the melee of Flippy in rollout? They were just kind of all standing still next to each other, just piling into Death. But. 
Death does go down, but it doesn't matter as the Russians take another round, making it 3 2. And Exxon is really defensive on this mid. Really yeah, far yeah. back. Shadow Burn again, trying to get some early spam off. Nothing to recommit yet. Now Shadow Burn's going to go behind, but the soldiers are going aggressive right now, and they're going to absolutely devastate the lethal weapon combo. Uh, they only get a couple of frags, but we do get the two most important ones. And Forsaken was actually sniper to that middle. And it didn't prove effective. He did, I didn't hear him hit any shots. And no. tech, it made Tech go aggressive, and Tech just destroyed the combo. He did so much damage, it showed. And yeah. Forsaken wow. goes down to a jumping Exxon. Yeah. Uh, sloppy play, really, from Monty and Forsaken to get caught out there. Like, they know you, you know you can't defend CP2 after that middle. Uh, but they tried anyway. And yeah, now they're going to lose Atomic as well. And Lethal Weapon just. We saw this happen towards the end of Badlands, but they just got really sort of like. Just really sketchy positioning and decision making from a lot of people, just leading to people getting picked off. Now we're going to try and force them through this uh, close door. Monty's in spawn as heaven. We're going to start the cap, force them down the stickies. They will lose one for them. Now the rest of the players are coming in, and it's basically the M fight right now. Uh, soldier in the air, Tech's going to clean up two, but that should clinch it for them. And they're going to go 4 2 up. So my prediction will be right. As long as no one caps around for the second half of the map. Yeah, it's looking pretty likely the way things are going now. It looks like it's going to be a 15 <laughs> minute stalemate. And uh, honestly what Shadowburn's doing in these mids. He seems to, I don't know, put the fear of God into Exxon but then not do much after that. And he's gone into their sewers and he's met a scout and it looks like the end is nigh for Shadowburn. But he's making the enemy team come so far back for him. And he does get taken down, but look how defensive the Frenchies are. Yeah, Death and Vix are really sinking up nicely to get a couple of kills from there. Really effective. Uh, Monty's going to get one as well. Uh, I'm quite impressed by Monty. He really doesn't look out of place. Like, there's a couple of times his decisions just, like, way too far forward and he gets picked up. But, like, literally only a couple of times. No oh my god, Exxon. Exxon takes down right glow with the sticky, with the sticky trap, trap in the choke after double piping Forsaken right on his face. And Monty will go behind until he'll be in. He'll get cleared off by Tech. And this is the, <laughs> the double edged sword of Exxon. He does this stuff where he's so far like so far forward. Half the time he gets absolutely destroyed and loses his team rounds, but half the time he just saves them. And that was one of those times and Atomic's flying in to try and get a force, but he's way too early and gets destroyed and Ghoul isn't even touched. And Shadowburn's in no place to try and go for a force. So this is going to be a free midpoint and that looks like Forsaken on Sniper. Oh. And he takes down Exxon. Exxon can confirm that for you right now. Um, <laughs> they are holding quite close and they are in Sears. This could be devastating for them. White Glow has started to back off wisely though. They will lose Shadowburn and Victor. That's all they will lose. Then there is a player, I think Monty, who's in top PC. Uh, not sure what he can really do here. I think he's just going to try and get out. Death's actually caught fighting Flippy on the far side. He should be down now, Flippy. Uh, but good trade for him. And this might cue him to go straight in. But they are pushing into respawns. This could be catastrophic for them as the soldiers try and force their way. They're getting pinned back by the scout. Uh, everyone's getting pinned back. Victor's going to find the first trap. The uh, Frenchies are just leaving. Yeah, they've seen the error of their ways and are just backing it out right now. But they are going to have to face a push. Slight uber advantage for them as well. Tech's going to go down. Monty on 1 HP. No, Victor on 1 HP. Monty saves. They're trying to make their way out. They've nearly got it. Uh, they need to just commit. Though here comes Death jumping. Uh, they're pushing straight towards a sniper. Though lots of spam going on him. They do have pretty good position. They force him out. There's also a soldier on ball. Ball only goes down to 60 though. He should be able to build this uber up. Death is still trying to push. But there's a lot of people there. There's stickies behind him as well. White glow ubers. That is not well timed at all. Just as Death's going backwards, Ball's going to jump forward, save everyone. White Glow is way too far in the air to get out. And everyone's going to fly through, choke, but it's going to become a very messy fight now as there's still players in Sears. They're trying to f***ing Ball. Atomic can't get near him. Uh, Scout's coming in from top. Monty's going to get one. Uh, still fighting going on behind. Victor's trying to get through. Monty's going to get a second one before he gets taken down. But no one can find the important frag onto Ball. And he's just going to kill keep building up that advantage. Yeah, another sloppy uber from the Russians is really... Like, White Glow, what, what is Shadowburn doing? Are you seeing this? He's standing on, I don't know what. He's just kind of in a very odd corner, halfway up the wall in lobby. Does he think this is Gullywash? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's going to achieve anything, but... Actually, but this is quite a nice... Peak. Oh, oh he's been seen! <laughs> How does Tech know? Tech cheats. Oh, HP. Oh, and then, wow. Flippy just, just taking the sniper yeah. 
Uh, if ever a deal was sealed going into this push, those two frags uh, should have secured it. Exxon's going to walk in. We're going to focus down one. It takes a bit of time, but it's now six versus three. Shadowburn's going to respawn. But I don't know how much we'll really be able to get done. They're all stuffed in the corner as well. Shadowburn's going to come out the other side. I'm fully buffed heavy walking. T Mac has surely uh, confirmed this round, and it's now 5 2. Yeah, it's quite lucky for T Mac that he pushes in as heavy just as, just as Forsaken gets taken down on Sniper. If Forsaken was sitting at the door, that push could have been completely different. <laughs> I've just seen chat, and everyone's like, Strike, please, anti cheaty, please, after take <laughs> wall hacks the hell out of Shadow <laughs> Explain uh, that, anti cheat admin. <laughs> We go into the next mid, we see two scouts with lethal weapon now, opting for a bit more of an aggressive Ooh, approach. Oh, where's your key max going in really deep? Uh, they will force the frag onto death, and it has forced them all back, but the health's pretty good, and Shadowbones was distracted from the whole team. Atomic arrives to help, uh, but really achieves not a lot at all right there. And now Monty is on one side of mid with his medic, and Shadowbones behind. Shadowbones gonna go for the. Misses a rocket onto full. Wall's gonna surf the other one away. Shadowbone uh, gets hit just before he tries to jump, and will go down. White Glow should have Uber in time, but they're going to be a few players down. We've only just got respawns in, they won't be quite in position to defend this, but it looks like Death wants to try. 100% uh, on both teams now, here they come, they're going to force that scout off point, pinning them right back. Uh, neither team, Ubering, they're both going to try and milk for as long as they can, and Bulls uh, actually pop slightly early. I'm not sure how much difference it will make, but Flippy keeps trying to go aggressive, whereas Bull doesn't fancy his chances Wait, due to that earlier I've just pop. noticed. Forsaken's playing Soldier and Atomic is playing Scout. They're, they're doing a mid-official class change. Not happy wow. with the way things are going. And T-Mac's going to get taken out by Forsaken. But it looks like Monty's going to lose his battle in the flank to Flip. And Flip is now behind. Forsaken so he just squashes yeah, shut down. shotgun. But he needs to help on mid right now, Forsaken. Uh, uh, Exxon going so aggressive, will finish White Glow off. He will go down to Atomic. Uh, Forsaken's got enough health to bomb. He's going to win. Gets behind him. Half health on the medic, Gav's gonna run in, try and finish it, puts him down to fifth. Forsaken still doing damage, gonna line up one more bomb. Bull's gonna try and make his way to the health pack. No, he's making it out, I think he's presuming Forsaken's gonna go for him on the health pack. So, waits for Victor to say, uh, sell, uh, telegraph what he's doing, let's go with that. But yeah, really weird switch, I was thinking Atomic wasn't being so effective. Did you just see that? <laughs> Oh my god, and he was cold oh. as well, he was fighting one morning with Flippy, and then just hops over Flip's head. <laughs> it doesn't quite work, and it doesn't distract uh, the combo enough to allow for a lethal weapon in. Um, and now we're going to see another full advantage, Uber push, just going to be bottom right again. He's trying to make his way in, has to get the Uber pop on it, but he's got some pretty nice damage out. Uh, Death's on super low health, uh, Forspaken will go down. We're going to try and make it in depth, going to be Shadowman's going to try and do what he can, but he's fighting those scouts with gunboats, so he's going to focus him down. Uh, Sticky's on point as well, and they're just, yeah, just squashing them. What do you think the swap's for? I was I was just thinking, just before the swap happened, that um, Atomic wasn't being that effective. Getting a few likes, folks. Okay. But yeah, wasn't being that effective. And uh, he is staying on scout for middle as well. In comes T Mac pretty fast. And we now see another uh, uh, swap up from Death as well. We're going out on his right hand side. He's going to pressure the soldiers. Great denial from Forsaken to pick his death and allow him to go forward. We're going to force all of them out of choke. Forsaken and Death powering forward as well. Two for Death. Uh, Death's going to keep going as well, but he's got a scout on him. He needs to be saved. They're not going to arrive in time, but. Uh, Scout's trying to come on Forsaken, he will finish him, Shadowburn even, but Atomic's there to save the death. Should be able to clear up this soldier as well. That's two for Atomic, and much better mid with Forsaken in pocket, but now T Mac's going on uh, White Glow, oh, the surf has failed. Uh, nowhere for White Glow to go. They might still pick up CP2, but they're definitely going to want to challenge Monty. Exxon goes for it by himself, but he hits a nice pass. Uh, Monty refused. And either refuses to jump or couldn't jump. Takes a lot of full damage. Well, gonna go for Medic now, Monty on 6 HP. Exxon finally uh, finishes him off. And they hold on to CP2. And this is gonna be difficult for the Russians right now. Death could do with not getting caught in sewers and dying. And he should be fine, actually. Um, as he's saying, that team has oh. come flying in. Uh, he's launched him up in the air. He got away from T Mac, but just into the path of Flip. And. Ness is going to queue up an easy mid and probably a pretty swift CP2 for avant-garde. 
White Glow is actually running the Uber Disadvantage crits. So I assume they're going to want to try and force it here with just then try and re-crits on them as they... Oh, they want to push behind or they're just going to push mid with crits. I don't know what's happening. They're baiting them in. The crits is going to go, but it's been popped in time. They're going to get absolutely crushed. Um, a really weird amount of committal to that crits for Uber push from uh, Russians, but Monty and Atomic have just devastated uh, the players in Sur. going to try and come and fight this. Uh, Tech's going to rejoin Exxon on Spire. So is T-Mac, and that should secure it. Wow, <laughs> Monty dodges one air shot just to get hit by another. Now Atomics is going to try and get out and help his team on last. Forsaken's going to spawn as well. They might be able to delay them coming if they get enough soldier spam on this bottom right door. It is coming in pretty thick and fast, but T-Mac and Tech have found a way through. They're going to jump in and now Exxon's going to be able to walk forward as well. Uh, lots of pressure on them, but Forsaken's getting focused and pound. Death's going to hit a pipe, force them back. And they might actually be able to clean this up. Nice work from Shadow, but... Uh, but he needs help from his final two players. Kissy's equalizer out on half HP, and that completely fools everyone. And they have an Uber, should be able to clean this up if Exxon can hit things. He's got uh, no, he's nothing, nothing loaded. loaded. Uh, only disappointment in Exxon's grenade launcher right now, as he eventually goes down to Atomic. <laughs> and they're going to chase Bull out as well, but he should meet his respawners in time, and Flippy isn't at a uh, much overpowered Sur spot. And the soldier's actually going to go aggressive onto White Glow. Monty is there to defend him, and they were playing much better with not just Forsaken on Soldier, that's better, but also Atomic seems to be playing much better on Scout than he did on Soldier. Yeah, Flippy's going to get shot down in sewers. He was very far up ahead. Didn't realize his team had already left. Again, actually, Shadowburn comes in from behind, destroys Bull, and smacks Exxon in the face with an equalizer. But Exxon's surely going to get taken down as the Russians know they're very slow on pushing Choke. Uh, everyone except for that scout is completely in by himself and will get picked off by Tima. Monty, uh, too far ahead of his team, or his team too far, far behind him, really, to be honest. And they're gonna get on mid, but they do have to contest with Flippy, and there's no one really pressuring him. Um, Atomic's, White Glow is gonna get out of the way before he can add to the Atomic frag. And White Glow will get out, but this has stunted this push, and they're gonna have to really wait for Atomic and Forsaken to both respawn. That was actually two two kills from Flippy. He destroyed uh, Forsaken. I think he rocket headshot him as he tried to do a rocket jump, and he just killed himself. Uh, the Uber comes in now, and it's again not a great Uber. Shadowbird goes super deep, trying to make something happen. Death's going to go deep and finish off full as well. We need to clean up these frags now. Um, melee fight going on to him, medic and the soldier. He's going to get cleaned up. Exxon's going to try and get aggressive. Everyone's going aggressive, and T Mac uh, just sandwiches them right there. Uh, Atomic's still in Spurs, but he's completely outnumbered. Uh, dance as he wants, he cannot find any more frags. And the DM fight's going to go out in favour of uh, the Russians. And Shadowburn's going to finish his soldier, he's pretty weak. Goes for the air shot on the scout. Uh, nice rockets from Shadowburn right here. Oh, and Surely Exxon's really low as well. well. He's 11 HP, please Shadowburn. Oh, there we and he go. gets all three. Beautiful and free man. Bulls screaming to his team, come back and build, I'm on crits, and now their uber advantage isn't that great, and they've lost three players, and the Russians are surely going to be storming into mid here after Shadowbone's big play. Yeah, about 25% it'll probably end up for Bull. Uh, as the Russians come in, that scout's way too far forward. Um, he's got back up from the other scout, and really not, really should have punished them a bit hard on their weapon for how far forward they are. They're still powering forward though, I'm 100% sure they know they're not going into a crits. Uh, Death is definitely not getting the crits either as well as he gets back in. Exxon's going to surf the rocket through onto White Glow. White Glow's dodging everything though. They come back to try and save him, but Exxon's still dancing around. will eventually go down to Atomic. 70% of the crits is nipped up. Uh, Tech's right near him as well, but there is a soldier behind. Of course it's Shadowburn. Here he comes. One rocket doesn't land any damage. He's sort of stuck in the corner now, just putting out damage. I think he's going to wait for the rest of his team to respawn to maybe sync up a play on this middle. He's just trying to distract. He's just jumping around on the enemy second. He's, he's waiting, waiting to spawn camp someone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here the oh he my destroys God. T Mac and wow. Exxon is kind of stuck now. Right. And he sort of goes down and gets taken down by Monty on second. <laughs> the second part of this mid. The other second, fight. obviously. Yeah, yeah because, just to confirm, you know, this fight is going on both CP2s right now. Um, and White Glow and. Atomic should have this wrapped up, but Exxon has arrived, should get his scout out. Uh, they really need to wait for a little bit more support before Atomic and White Glow go. Forsaken's going straight in, 
for him. Uh, launches him up in the air. Free HP. <gasps> the He's pipe. trying to get the health pack. We're going to Uber one scout on middle right now. This is not going to go well. Um, Exxon just hit a crazy pipe to save himself, really? and he's actually going to jump back in, and White Glow's stuck here, and they're, they're just going to get crushed. But actually, Exxon managed to die. Oh, and the back the of the second as well, well Flippy. What is going on? This is uh, such a crazy fight. Atomic's sort of, he's stuck behind as well, maybe going for a medic play, picking up health packs, but Tech is, is it Tech? T-Mac even doing so much damage right there. Uh, he should get picked off, he's stuck on mid right now. Not a lot Atomic can do. And is it coming to blank Bull and he shoots early and shows himself and can't do anything. Yeah. And yeah, Bull's still on crits actually, yeah. And he's so. got fully charged crits. I'm guessing they're gonna go through rollout. Yeah, it looks like we're trying to heal off Exxon now, but there's a lot of spam coming in on rollout. He can't hit the scout either, Exxon. Exxon is zero for six right now with his crits. Um, zero for eight stickies. Um, <laughs> Give it a flip, let him do let him flip do work. gets one shot, one kill. Uh, they're going to walk it anyway though, Tech's doing some nice work on point, but he's now fighting a scout. He's going to go down. Uh, just Flippy alive, uh, I think on the respawn. GG's are I believe we're in the last 40 seconds. Yep. Uh, I said 6-2, I said 4-2 at 6-2, that's pretty close. You are not going to be good at this fight. No, I'm <laughs> predicting. Uh, they're going to push out anyway. Um, I believe Exxon has called it a day and just having a sit down. Tech's gonna try and hold on to mid. It's all just turned into a DM fight. Uh, but a pretty convincing performance performance from Lavant Guard, considering they've only just started playing again recently. Yeah, definitely. And if I'm gonna take a sneak peek at the logs and see that Tech got 13k damage, which is 443 damage per minute, with 43 frags and 19 deaths. That is a lot. And 11 air shots. Reasonable. Shadowburn got ten. I mean, and he only got 31% of the heals. That's which not is... alright. I was expecting to see, like, Zebesai numbers coming up, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's 10k. Bull got a lot of heals that game. Hmm. But still, but it's still... Le less than the damage he did by a considerable amount. Hmm. And if you look at the... The logs are kind of skewed because uh, Forsaken spent 10 minutes on Soldier. But actually, on Soldier... Hmm. He looked like he was making a difference at the start, but he actually went 5 to 12 on Pocket. I think after, like, he played Pocket, like, he didn't play Pocket properly for about 2 3 minutes. And then just went into just, like, Shadowburn 2.0 mode and just sort of kept going for solo plays. Yeah, it seemed every mid Shadowburn would just go behind and stay behind. And the <laughs> Russians would just play in the mid normally and then were playing 5v6. It's like. Shadowburn doesn't actually speak Russian, and he can't communicate anything he's doing to them, you know? Like, like Shadowburn's plate isn't bad, and also, lethal weapon, the rest of Lethal Weapon's play isn't bad, but together, they're just completely opposite things. Yeah, the, the Russians would need to play much more passively to kind of accommodate for Shadowburn, going in behind, getting a health pack, doing his thing, and then coming back out. But it would always be... The fight is lost while Shadowburn's kind of messing about behind, and then he comes in to try and salvage everything, and usually fails because he's jumping into four or five people. And they know they know him. Like Shadowburn does it enough that everyone knows what the plan is. And with Flippy and Flip and Tech, you know, some between them all, they're all going to keep an eye on it. You know, like it's not really going to yeah, work. Just, um, you cool, have cool internet issues. I'm not. Am I lagging? Am I? No. Hold on, is my mic okay? Does that sound okay to you? Sounds fine to me. Hold on, just checking my messages. No? No, I think my mic's fine. People are saying I, it sounds like I'm falling into a well, <laughs> and that people need to donate to save me. That sounds like a good plan. If you go to igg.me at, what is it, ETF12 season 20 or something? <laughs> I don't know. Donate and give me money. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, and there's at least potential for lethal weapon. The problem, the only thing, the biggest um, problem I see is about 20 minutes into the game, if they're not winning or they're not one round behind, they give up and just go like suicidal, aggressive, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know if they're comms, obviously it's going to be hard to tell, I don't speak a lot of Russian. But you know, if, if they just fall apart comm-wise, you know what I mean? Like, it just becomes rage-fueled or people go silent or anything like that. 
I assume that's why Forsaken went pocket soldier to try and lead the team because he's got a lot more experience than Atomic. Yeah. But then even towards the end, he really wasn't, you know, trying that hard. Uh, but it was close, though. I didn't see potential for Lethal Weapon to make something of this season. Maybe is it how is it the same playoff system as last season? Uh, I think so, with three teams. Three teams. So maybe not a playoff spot, but I think they could like mid table. You know, like Lavant Guard are one of the better teams in the league this season. Well, they'll have. They they'll be able to contest next season, especially since how stable all the Russian teams are. They always, you know, they always stay together after the season if they do poorly. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's because of stability or just because there's no other Russian people to play with at that level. They're sort of like it's like being brothers, you know. You're forced to hang out. Yeah. They they always leave, say they quit in TF2, do other things, and then they always get back together again. 